Masons are like homosexuals. They can't reproduce themselves naturally. They can only, yeah, amen. They can only recruit. You know, think of that. That's the way with every cult. If you know someone who's a Mason or if you yourself are a Mason, realize that when you kneel at the altar of Masonry as an entered apprentice and you take that oath, you are adopted into the family of Lucifer in that moment. Now, you don't probably know that. I did. But most people don't even know that. And as a result, if you're a Christian, and mind you, there are pastors that are doing this. There are deacons that are doing this. There are countless Christian lay people that are doing this. You cannot serve two masters. And if you understood the profound relationship between witchcraft and Freemasonry, you would know what that cord, that cable tone meant, because they've got a rope around their neck. And what that means in witchcraft and the occult is that is a symbol of the umbilical cord of the mother goddess, the queen of heaven, linking her to her hidden child. So this guy has just been born again by the queen of hell, the consort of Lucifer. Every Mason has this happen to them. And they don't understand the dynamics, probably 99 out of 100, but they still go through it.